Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel, James here, and today we're going to be talking about caffeine withdrawal timelines. I know, uh, you know, some of my most popular videos, surprisingly, on this channel have been about quitting coffee and caffeine and, and sort of the process of that, so um, asking ye shall receive more videos about quitting caffeine. So today let's talk about caffeine withdrawals, and I'll, I'll just talk about my own personal experience with it, you know. You know, I think quitting anything, um, the hardest part is at the very start. And for me personally, you know, I've quit a lot of things this year. Uh, you know, I drastically cut back on alcohol. I quit social media altogether. Um, other than coming back briefly just to spam people with my articles, but you know, not, uh, not an everyday thing interacting with people on social media anymore. But for me, like the hardest thing to quit out of all these sort of behaviors I wanted to get rid of this year was quitting caffeine and it has by far been the hardest out of all of them and and I've tried in the past too in past years to quit it and I always seem to backslide you know um and you know quitting anything like that everything is going to have its own kind of withdrawal timeline and experience so like with alcohol for example for me the challenge of the withdrawals were mostly psychological um, I'd get these kind of, you know, just this <laughs> low level anxiety, um, coming off of that and, and cravings that would kind of take over, take over the mind for about two weeks until I got rid of it. And then that kind of just drifted away. Um, I didn't, didn't super crave it after a while, didn't even think about it. But for me, like caffeine is so, um, insidious, it just won't let me escape. So you know, every time I think I'm free of it, it tricks me back into uh, to having it, and I'm quickly like a full blown addict again. So, um, you know, again, the the toughest part is at the start, and you know, you have to to wait and get some momentum behind you, and then it becomes easier. But um, one thing I will say for the caffeine withdrawals is that they are or have been i know i've i've heard from people in the comments on this channel and and they have a different experience with it which is understandable because everyone has a different physiology um and uh, a physical reaction to whatever drugs they're taking which caffeine is um but i personally found that my caffeine withdrawals tapered off a lot quicker than my alcohol ones did I found that with alcohol, it took about two weeks to not think about it and to sort of start feeling normal again. Um, for me, caffeine start to finish with the withdrawal process was about five days, which, you know, it it's not long as compared to alcohol, but I would say that it was a lot more painful. So, you know, let me just walk you through exactly what I went through with that. So. I quit on a on a Sunday and then on Monday, you know, I was feeling pretty okay. Like my, you know, maybe you've noticed this too when you try to quit it, but it's almost like your body isn't even aware of what you're about to do with it. So it doesn't even really have time to process anything. Um, the first day I didn't have any kind of psychological pull towards it. Because you, when you're, you're trying to do something new or whatever, you know, you, you're excited about it. Um, you, you know, you're, uh, you're excited to try a new lifestyle. And that excitement kind of makes you not think about um, what you're about to put your body through. So anyway, Monday night, energy levels were good. Um, although I started getting a little bit of a tinge of a headache, which was a little suspicious. But... Um, you know, you're excited the first night. So then <laughs> Monday night, I thought I was cruising. And then Tuesday, I realized that I was cruising straight into a brick wall. Um, you know, the first day, I, you don't really notice anything. The second day, it's like a crushing, crushing um, withdrawal headache from caffeine. Like it was literally like your brain is trying to push your eyeballs out of your head. Um and, you know, you just feel, you feel ill, you know, um, and you, like, for me personally, I would have expected to feel more tired right away without the caffeine, but for me, um, 
it's the, the better sleep that you get when you quit actually um, kicks in really quickly. So the, the fatigue seems to not be there yet. Um, um, feeling really sick on the second day, but also not super tired. But on the third day, now, like all the caffeine is out of my system and that's when the fatigue really hits me on day three. So like for, for getting out of that cycle, day three is like a lot of laying down and resting and like you get up and you, you do things for a while and then all of a sudden you just get this crushing lethargy again and have to lay down. So, you know, for me, um, the good part is that right away again, like, second night, third night, you're starting to get much better sleep already. And you'll notice right away, you you lay down at night and you go to sleep and you sleep through the night. And if you get up, it's not like you get up and then you start thinking and then you're up for the night. You like get up, go to the washroom or whatever, and then go straight back to sleep. So, and also another thing that I've really noticed when you when you quit caffeine and you start to sleep better is even like your dreams get more vivid and, and more interesting. So um, it's definitely, that's for me, quitting caffeine, like that's the number one benefit. Your sleep is insanely good. So not feeling great on day three still, but at least things are turning around a bit and you're starting to feel the benefits. Um, on day four, you know, I still felt pretty tired. Like I'd still need to slow down and rest my eyes and, and that sort of thing. But um, like the sleep kicking in right away around day four, I really feel like the brain fog that I think a lot of people watching this can relate to, that sort of lifts, you know? Um, and I really notice it with writing, which I do as a job and I do as a side hustle on Medium. Um, where I write about this stuff too. I'll put a link in the description for you if you want to check that out. But it it it's almost like kind of <laughs> the dopamine output kind of shifts from getting the drug of caffeine to um, to accomplishing things and accomplishing goals, and it, it it sort of lifts this brain fog off of you and allows you to um, you know get some pleasure out of of accomplishing things out of writing things and it makes it so much easier you know um and i really found like around day four that's where writing and that sort of thing and mental tasks start to become a lot easier so day five is like the last kind of day for my withdrawals where i kind of feel anything and i i might be a tiny bit tired but pretty much all of that is is has tapered away because of the better sleep that i'm getting um and the, the sort of the last time, you know, I, I actually wrote it down. Uh, I had like, it was nothing, just wrote a couple articles before I even started working. And then at work, I was tasked with this kind of complex writing task. And for me, it was nothing. It was 45 minutes of, of easy work and, and fired it off and, and, uh, and, uh, and it worked out great. And it was just easy. Um, the only drawback I would say, and this is sort of why I always kind of backslide, um, is that without caffeine, getting to the gym and doing workouts is a lot tougher. Getting motivated to go and getting motivated to push through, super big challenge. So that's something that I'm still working on figuring out. Um, typically when I backslide, it's because I want to go to the gym, but I'm too tired. Um, so any tips you guys have on that, on, uh, on shifting your sort of physical exercise, that sort of thing after you quit caffeine, I would love to hear from you in the comments. So anyway, that's just a quick walk through my first five days. Again, after five days, everything's uh, pretty hunky dory for me. I don't know about you guys, but anyhow, uh, I hope you got something out of this. Again, if you have any, uh, tips for the others and tips for me, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Okay. Please subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll talk to you again soon, folks.